Hong Kong, an Asia's world city, is equipped with advanced infrastructure facility, but its geographic and environmental limitations could somewhat affect the sustainable development of Hong Kong. In 2009, the chief executive presented a new initiative in his policy address, which was to launch a strategic plan to facilitate the development of underground space and promote use of rock caverns as part of Hong Kong's pursuit of sustainable development. The Geotechnical Engineering Office of Civil Engineering and Development Department then undertook a feasibility study on the enhanced use of underground space in Hong Kong. Since the 1960s, cavern developments have been successfully implemented in many countries across the globe, such as Jovik Mountain Hall in Norway, Oset Water Treatment Complex in Norway, Itakeska Swimming Complex in Finland, underground ammunition facility in Singapore. Hong Kong also has a number of successful examples of underground space development. For example, the MTR and its associated retail facilities. Stanley Sewage Treatment Works. Government Explosives Depot at Kaushat Wan. Island West Transfer Station. Also, the University of Hong Kong has recently relocated two water supplies department saltwater service reservoirs and caverns for the development of their Centennial Campus. Compared to above-ground development, a cavern option is generally more costly. However, in Hong Kong, the land value and the limited surface land supply are the key driving factors for cavern development. Also, the hilly and steep terrain, as well as the strong granitic and volcanic rocks of Hong Kong, provide excellent conditions to develop underground space. Advantages and opportunities for underground development in Hong Kong include Existing government facilities occupying key sites can be relocated in caverns to free up land for other uses. Relocating undesirable facilities below ground can improve the living conditions and environment of the communities nearby. The enhanced use of underground space can provide the much needed land to cope with the economic growth while significantly reducing the impacts on the natural environment. The study commissioned by the Geotechnical Engineering Office considered the use of underground space as a feasible option. A preliminary territory-wide cavern suitability map had been developed to aid in the future selection of potential sites for cavern development. The study also reviewed some 400 government facilities to see whether they could be relocated in caverns. Among them, the sewage treatment works in Sha Tin was selected to illustrate its suitability of being transferred below ground. Key reasons for the selection include Relocation of the facility can release a large waterfront area of about 28 hectares for other beneficial uses. The landscape and environment of the vicinity would be improved and there are similar successful overseas cases. Land is a premium. To take advantage of the topography and geology of Hong Kong, the Civil Engineering and Development Department is carrying out studies to promote development of underground space to release precious land for better use and enhance the living environment. 